Okay, so let's talk about Sidewinder's Delta. Mm -hmm. It's a very interesting film. You have those different pieces of paper that are seen in the desert or in a field of daisies or on grass. You have motion picture projectors. You have different kinds of tails. You have the bony tail of an animal. And I was wondering if you could talk about what the meaning of some of that was. Well, the way I was working by that time was just building up a library of shots that I figured I could use sometime, but I didn't know it for what. I was always just experimenting with things that were possible for me to do. So there's some straight animation in there, and there's some animation combined with the background that I had shot in advance. I mean, I'd been thinking about the process of compositing images for a long time, and how I could do it. So I was doing that, and uh, I'd go out in the desert, look for something that looks like it could be used. And it was often a time-lapse shot, so I would be staying in that spot for 12 or 15 hours and usually camping overnight. So a number of the shots have specific locations that I'm working with in the background. In the film, you can see the light changing mm -hmm. on the landscape. And it's very interesting the way it looks. Yeah, I was intrigued with that. I'm also curious about the sound, because the film starts MOS, so you just see the images. The sound comes in a little bit later, mm -hmm. and I was wondering if you have tools to manipulate sound, just like you did with images with the optical printer. What kinds of tools or processing did you do on the sound to get some of those effects? Well, I had a collaborator, George Lockwood, who had a little studio for editing sound. And he was a musician also, knew a lot of musicians, so we'd have production sessions, make things that ultimately turned out to be. Him. 